finished unloading and as professionals we have a lot of inventory on hand but we're going to tell you how you can shop DIY for your pantry today. The first step as a DIYer is figuring out your look. Today our client chose light and bright so we went with whites and wood tones to kind of even each other out. So here is the before on our client's pantry and you can see the product that she had brought in to utilize herself. Um, some of it isn't the right dimensions. You can see it's kind of hanging off the shelves. That's something we try to avoid just because aesthetically it looks a little uh, confusing. Watch till the end of this video and you will see how our product choices will really elevate the look and the function of this space. Okay, we're gonna give you a quick list of essential products that you're gonna need to make your pantry look beautiful and be really functional. When you're starting to plan your space, you want two different types of baskets and potentially a plastic option to keep costs down. Um, one basket, you're going to want something that hides the mess and those are gonna go lower in the pantry space and another basket that you can see through but still has some texture that you are able to see everything that's in it but it still hides the visual noise. We decided to choose the whitewash or tan basket. Um, they come in two different sizes so we brought medium and large and we want to accent with the white bin clip. And for a basket that you can see through, we chose the MD Decor Basket. It still gives texture and you can still see into it, but it will hide all the visual noise. Another product MVP is our bamboo stackers. And we use these a lot in our snack zones. And it, this is great because they're stackable and they add dimension. They're good for bars and other grab and go snacks. Another space that is often overlooked is the corners and things really get hidden back there and get lost and you forget about them. That is why we love using turntables. This one is from Target. It's a bright room brand. It comes in two different sizes, a large and a small. We typically use the larger in pantry spaces. If you don't love the white look, you can also have something that has a wall and is see-through to change the aesthetic. Another area in the pantry that we always do is cans and condiments. The Mega Expanded Shelf is really great because it's customizable to the space. And we love this particular product because the depth fits cans perfectly. Our plastic candy bin, and we typically use this for back stock down low or up high for paper products. We love this because um, it, your money goes a long way with them and that they're just like a super clean look. The last thing we want to talk about is your main decanting staples. So we prefer the OXO brand. They're click top and easy to use and they come in nine piece pieces as well as other options. They're just really pretty and they're easy to put a pretty label on for aesthetic. Another OXO that we typically bring is cereal OXO. Our client today had um, some already. But this size fits a family sized um, cereal. We have smaller sizes that will fit like a normal box of cereal. A lot of our clients shop at Costco, so I would recommend using this. It comes in a set of two, the smaller sizes come in a set of three. So in this client's pantry, you will see there is a lot of OXO, and that is something that works for them because as far as how they use their kitchen and pantry, they bake a lot. And so if someone bakes a lot, decanting really does make sense. It helps for accessibility, visibility, all of that. But um, just consider how you use your space and whether or not decanting makes sense. It may make sense for some categories and not for others. Really consider how often you go through the items and then make your decision whether to decant or not. So we always wash our OXO before we decant any food into them. That goes for all of our jars and canisters that we use. Um, I would recommend, yes, washing the OXO, but don't submerge the lids. If you submerge the lid in water, you will get water in there and you will not be able to get it out. So we just kind of use a damp paper towel to wipe down our lids. As far as labeling, I always say only get specific on categories that you know that you're going to buy again and again and again. Otherwise, stay general. For example, fruit snacks. If fruit snacks is a temporary stage in your house, 
then I would just maybe label that bin or basket snacks and then you have a little bit more flexibility moving forward. On the next video where we're going to talk about this pantry some more, we'll talk about the space planning and zoning and we'll go into um, categories a little bit more specifically. So as far as labeling goes, we have found that the Brother P-Touch Cube is by far our favorite label maker. We'll link it in the description here, but it makes really durable labels that stand the test of time. So exciting news is we are working on putting together our own label packs for spices and pantries and we will just keep you up to date here. So if you want to subscribe, we will have updates on those labels as soon as we get them.